Thanks to all of you for coming on a very important issue of crime in America and the rising of that crime in America. Uh, it's something I hear in my town meetings in Iowa, and I'm sure people in larger cities hear it even more than we do in our part of the country. Uh, violent crime is very much on the rise. Homicides up 30 percent. Carjackings doubled and tripled in some cities, and those are only a couple statistics of many different statistics we could give. Uh, violence is up in the blue cities, uh, is due to depleasing progressive prosecutors and failed bail reforms. Can you imagine prosecutors saying we aren't going to prosecute this crime or that crime? Now we all know there has to be prosecutorial discretion. But you don't tell people what crimes you aren't going to punish or why do you get a big rise in those crimes in the big cities of America. Now, with this rise in crime in, in the larger cities, Democrats blame that rise on violence also in red states with higher crime rates. But the data show that blue cities in these states cause the crime. So set aside blue cities and red states are much, much safer. Law enforcement is under attack at an alarming rate. More law enforcement officers were killed in 2021 than any year since uh, the disaster of 9-11. Uh, Iowa is, uh, in 2021, had nine law enforcement officers dying. <clears throat> the Biden crime plan is, as you know, gun control. That will not reduce crime. We also have this fentanyl problem. Democrats are fighting the scheduling of fentanyl. And why? I don't know, because fentanyl kills so many people. Probably 70,000 of the 104,000 that were uh, died because of drug overdose. We must uh, back the blue and take crime more seriously than this administration is doing. The Biden administration can no longer ignore what Iowans and Americans are living through every day. Every time we see a policeman, we ought to thank them. I am not for defunding police. I think it would also help tying this in with some of the demonstrations that we've seen lately about the Supreme Court. The president should back the institutions of the courts. He doesn't do that by being quiet on recent attempts by crowds to intimidate our justices on the rogue case. It would help if the president would speak up because respect for the Supreme Court has something to do with respect for law. And I think we have this rising crime because there's been a disregard of the respect for law.